In this video, we're going to focus on how we can put in a scale title here and a scale title on this side here. So basically, we have two Y axes, as you can see. We're going to put in the title in there. We're going to first create a second Y axis, and then we're going to put in here title, there title, and of course, at the bottom here on the X axis, a title. So let's start to explore how we can do this. So let's start to explore how we can add the scale titles on both Y axis. So to do this, first of all, we have to create two Y axis, but, and to do that, we need to have first a default code. So make sure you go to chartjs3.com getting started to get the default code here down. Let's copy all of this. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video that explains the JavaScript of it. All right, so I'm going to paste this in here. And once I did that, I'll just cut out the title here, put it in there. And save that refresh there we are so just for this video I will just convert it into a line chart because it's easier to see especially if you have two skills so I'm going to put in here a line and then what I will do here I'll just duplicate this to have another data set here comma and uh, let's give it a different color so one is red so the other one would be let's say the, the last color here that's a dark or black color so that's fine there we are there we are border width we can just maybe change it to tension 04 so it will be nice elastic save that refresh all right so we have this here but they're both on top of each other so let's get some different data here three and this one will be 12 this one will be 18 uh, 21 33 and let's say here 24 all right so this will be uh, weekly cost save refresh all right so we have all of these different lines here now so what I want to do is with this line this line should be on the side here so I'm going to convert this so how do we do this basically put a comma and then I'm going to say here in the uh, not index x sorry y axis id so we're going to indicate the specific y axis and i'll just call this the percentage uh, axis and the reason i'm going to call this percentage maybe this should be percentage or why we need to do this here we're basically indicating that this will be based on a different axis now, this is very important so this here will also reflect on this the default of the y axis id equals y so this is also the reason for this data set here we don't have to specify it because the default will be the y but in our case here now the other one will be the percentage if i save this refresh you should see now we have different lines here and you can see this scale here is basically the one related with the black line if i'm not mistaken yes that's the black line so this needs to be moved to the other side so now let's move that to do this because we have here this y axis ID, we basically created a new object. So, due to that, we can copy this and just put a comma here and just say here, instead of the y, now we have the percentage object here, which will be related to the scale of this one here that we're going to move to the right side. So, here, percentage, and then in here, we could also say again, begin at zero, comma. And then we can also indicate here the position. So the position will be here set on the right. If I save this now, refresh, there we are. So I will not spend much time in fine tuning these lines here. I have another video for that at the very end I will show you. What I want to do is to focus on the uh, text here on the side. So how do we do this? Well, if you put on the Y here, we can say here just the following. It's a title object. Then in here, we're going to say display equals true. And then we can just indicate here a text. So let's say here, this would be the, um, let's see, the red line was related to cost. We say, we, oh, sorry, weekly sales. So weekly sales in dollars. So exactly the same, if I save this here, refresh, you can see here it shows. So now exactly the same we can do for the right side here we just put a comma here because it understands where the scale is positioned at the right side so then here we could say weekly uh, costs 
in percentages. Let's make it so fancy, save that, refresh, and there we are. So weekly cost in percentages, of course it doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't matter here so much. So exactly the same you could do also at the bottom here. So if you want that, you have to indicate here a X scale, and then in the X scale here, exactly the same, we copy that, put that in there, and then we say here, uh, what is it? Days of the week. Save, refresh. We have days of the week, weekly sales, and here weekly calls in percentages. And that's basically how we can position a text title on the scale. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you say, well, I want to know even more, I would highly recommend you to study this video here, how to add a second y-axis in chart.js, which we did as well, but it will show you also how you can put in percentages and how you can fine tune the grid lines as you can see here with our item, we had to remove certain grid lines and that will be covered all in this specific video here.